similar position is Igor Svantec. Yeah. He's coming in with no matches since the US Open. Right. Um, she's coming in with a brand new coach. Yeah. And she's just lost the number one ranking. Um, yeah. Which, and... by the way, even took Arena by surprise. I don't know if you've seen some comments from Arena today saying that she didn't even know she was yeah. going to be number one that week. Yeah, I don't think anyone did. Um, <laughs> I think this rule is very last minute. But anyway, um, I didn't see the comments, which is that that is funny and very good of Arena for saying. Yeah. Um, she also said that she would like to sort of be the this is Arena saying this and I don't think it probably matters quite as much to Iga because she's obviously been there for so, such a long time and been so many year end number ones um or has at least done it a couple of times whereas whereas Arena said that she would like to to rubber stamp the number one by yeah. doing it by winning on a tennis court if you like so I, I think she would like to win this is Arena would like to win some matches and ultimately be year end number one before she said that before she feels as though I really feel as though I am the world number one. Uh, she's obviously been world number one on two separate occasions, and I'm going to guess collectively for around about 10 or 15 weeks. Uh, if you want to get yourself some water, Nick, uh, do feel free to go get yourself some water. Oh, you got some. If you need Never water, need then do so. But yeah, um, but yeah, funny enough, we're 45 minutes into the show, and we've touched on you know women's tennis and coaching mm -hmm. changes and world number ones and and injuries and not playing and 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 you know past winners and yet we hadn't really touched upon eager in, in a big way and now we will do and she's the second favorite going into this tournament which isn't often the case it, it, it's often that she's she's a clear favorite when it comes to the clay and pretty much most clay court tournaments maybe with the exception of madrid um and also hard courts it tends to be that depending on the speed and all sorts of things but to me she's a clear second favorite if you like I, i've not heard many people suggest that she's ahead of arena in those states no no i haven't seen that either i think a lot of us were waiting to see what the court speeds were like i think it's very interesting eager's practice choices um for uh this uh tournament because she's practiced with Chen wen she's okay. practiced with arena sapalenka now is that is that a choice or do I mean actually to be honest with you most of those most of those practices would have happened before the draw but yeah, you would probably. think that post draw anyway the players are probably not going to want to practice. I think we, she practiced with Sapalenka yesterday. Um, right, so that would have been pre-draw then, I guess. Um, but I think oh, she would have known she's not going to be in the same group. There's like there's a possibility that like oh, I think look if they did know about it then actually it's sensible for her to practice with people in the other group because she's not giving right. away too much. Yeah, to her immediate opponents, and she knows she's not going to be in the same group as Arena, so that might well have been. And by the way, when you say choices, I'm sure there are some choices involved, but probably the the, the organisers also, you know. I mean, like there was no one watching, so it wasn't like they were trying to sell tickets, right? Um, Although we have we have seen some glimpses of, of those those two. Did Eager step on her phone or something? I don't know if you've seen this. Oh yeah, no, that's um that's a TikTok thing. Yeah, but did you? But 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 uh, there was a comment from Arena. Was, Eager's like, oh. And then Arena's like, don't worry, I'm getting a new one when I get home or something. Okay. So I don't know if... if you if ever did it. I haven't seen um, the, the exact... So I think they're looking down at the phone. But there was a moment when I think she just sort of touched it with her foot and Eager was like, oh, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, anyway. That sounds about right. A bit of goofing around. But like, yeah, the, I'm playing two of the biggest hitters on the quickest court. Um, on a quick court. That's something to give her some... Useful gauging for when she potentially. What do we think about Eager's group, Nick, in particular? Because obviously I've spoken about this already yesterday. Uh, I think if I was picking, if you were going to pick Eager's group for her, it doesn't really matter which one she picks as the three or the four because she's got really good head-to-head -head with Goff and Paulini. Agree. Out of Pagula and Rabakina, she would have preferred Pagula. Just, but yes, or maybe and you're more convinced than I, but. Just because of that Pagula win in New York. Yeah, I, I, I think she's got more. Of, I think Pagula would still be less of a challenge. Um, True, Pagula was well as beaten on a quick court in in Australia but before Australia, the Australian Dubai, US Open. Yeah, no, but, but yeah. The, the, the speeds even it out. Pagula's the biggest threat to her right now, depending on how Krajikova is fitness wise. Yeah. Um. So Pagula, but like, I feel like it, it evens it out. But Iga still has the advantage if. She's playing well. Um, Krajikova is the interesting... Krajikova or Zheng is the tricky one because obviously Zheng's got a win against her in, in the Olympics. Krajikova has beaten her a couple of times in their career. I maybe would have picked Zheng just, but it's 
as a prefer preference, but it's really tight. So the, the problem the with Jeng and the, the, the positive with Barbord, if you're eager and you're, you're, you're going for mm -hmm. which one you think you'd have a better chance, the problem for Barbord is, is again, she just hasn't played much. Yeah. And She's but if, if everything was normal and equal, then you probably, I probably would go Zheng. But probably because I'm seeing Zheng play so much tennis and get better throughout the year. I mean, obviously, she's won an Olympic gold medal, which doesn't count mm -hmm. one single point in terms of her being there. But it's just great that we've got the gold medalist there, too. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I might just, just you're going to go slightly towards Zheng and if, if Iga was to, to handpick her. Just group because historic head to head. I'm going off historic oh, head to head for matchups I get it. I get rather it. than form. Um, now with so i think she probably got the slightly better she she's gonna get as good a group as she could hope for to be honest um it's not going to be easy i don't think um but i don't think it's that difficult but i don't think it's I, I think it's the better option for her right now and i definitely think that she's going to go and feeling fairly confident about getting through probably in first place depending how the pagula match goes um because Bagula is probably the bigger prop, the biggest problem for her in out of the, her three opponents. So okay. I see her getting through. But here's where I see you at the minute okay. is she's coming in at, at the minute. Uh, she's she's second favorite. She's not played, but that could be seen as an advantage for her because she wanted that recovery period. She's going to get about a kind of that um, new coach bounce from Wimperset, even if she doesn't do very well. It's a fantastic data gathering exercise for Facet and Eager yeah. to work out what works, what doesn't, what he needs, what he's seeing from her first hand against her main rivals. And so whatever however she does, it's going to build very well for 2025. So I think she's coming in with a little bit like the pressure's off. Maybe she yeah. wants to target getting number one back, but it's not the end of the world if she doesn't, because she's not no. threatening losing number two. Yeah, uh, that's also, what I would anyway, if I wasn't her team, the chances so, of her getting number one are, are quite slim. So in a way, that also alleviates the pressure a little. Yeah, she needs not like it's fifty fifty in tournament. Yeah, yeah, she'd have to have a great tournament and 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 Irene have a bad one. A, a, a slight tangent, um, but it might well bring us to to our next player in a way. Um, 